old up from from Leeds. Baba, that's old yeah. up from Leeds, ladies and gentlemen. Please. So, <laughs> yeah. So well, it's you know, um, is is um, is the day has come already now. So uh, we, uh I, I was glad when I. I went to YouTube this morning and you know started looking at what is the updates and I saw okay people are are kind of the momentum is building. Uh, say, uh, we, we know we know we know that you are happy. You are happy that uh, people are I should already brook you the mad in it. Well, you of know, course, everybody told me that you come back now. to Nigeria and come and lead it. So why yeah. are you waiting for me to come <laughs> back? The people who are actually Want to take on uh, your criminal uh, enterprise, your slave masters? They are already on the street. Oh, too, you are here now, telling me that am I happy? Happy, baje baje. I told you, I'm going to share the video of some of the politicians when ants begin to touch them. Okay, you will. I'm still going to bring videos of your politicians beating blue black by their own people in their own states onto this program. But let them continue. May they no stop them. Go on. So, uh, you know, one thing that we need to remind ourselves again that the politicians we have in Nigeria, mm -hmm. they are not politicians. This is because politici a politician doesn't use money as leverage. No. Politicians use idea and uh, belief or, or you know, um, how would I put it? You know, they are, you know, what they believe that, okay, if, if you stand for something, you, you will have to come out, talk to people. Uh, look, this is what I'm doing. Even have this is what I've been doing. Because they didn't elect uh, him, you know? Uh, yes, yeah, so the we of all... The country, not talking to them, ever. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so we all know that this person wasn't elected properly. Had it been this man is confident enough when it's okay, if you want to prove that I wasn't elected, then people who did not elect me, okay, you can come out and come and protest. Then we can see the differences. Mm -hmm. Right. But again, let's remind ourselves that this is the only way that the ordinary people can have say yes. in a government. It is because if you way. don't come out, yeah, that's the only way. If you don't come out, nobody will come out for you. No. It is you the head that you are feeling the pain that have to come out and say something about it, especially this lazy, miscreant Polit uh, people who call themselves politicians who doesn't know nothing about just to use the money to buy people's conscience and all. They believe but that whatever why... money cannot do, more money will do it. Yeah. And the uh -huh. reason why you are so... screaming is because you are not benefiting. Shut up your mouth. People are enjoying. Now only you they complain. Now we will find. What out. are we? Yes, yes. What are uh, what are anybody benefiting? Uh -huh. Most of Nigerians uh -huh. are not benefiting no. from anything. Basically, like in Lagos, they've seized a lot of Okadas. Okadas that people are surviving from. Uh -huh. Or they will, they, will, they will impound their vehicle. They will go and sell it uh, in auction to uh -huh. their own people who have applied for it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So things like that has been going on for so long. Mm -hmm. you, will, you, will, you will seize, you will take land from people because just for the names that, yes, the government have, have right on land. Okay, we know. But why can't you be, be giving to of O on time for people? Because they know what they are planning. If you, if you, if you, if you apply for it, it's a three or four, it won't come out unless if you have your your insiders that are okay, don't worry. And then if, even if you have that insider, you have to pay millions before you can get right. your uh, uh, three or four. So apart from that, ordinary people who doesn't even have money to buy land or whatever, at least they should they're entitled to 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 have a, 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 a you know a, a, a fair share in this national you know uh, uh, wealth. Mm -hmm. That okay, by having the fair share is by you know creating a, uh, a vocational centers, a, 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 a welfare offices where you know you go and and you know talk get to people in offices. Uh, yeah. you know, get every support. Without the Give tension of any any kind of uh, imbalance in the society, because if you don't, yes. one day the have nots will be so much that they will come for you, the apps. And we are at that stage now. And then we know we know our importance is receipt, mean, you know, documentation of any, even any, if any grant was or any scheme is on, 
any uh, at least evidence that okay, this has been given to this this uh, family or this person and whatever. They have a proof that okay, we've received this from the government. So everybody, I'm pretty sure the government will be the first person to say, oh look, we've given this this. this. Okay, let people come out with what the proof of anything that we've given to them that you know come from the government to these people, but nothing like that. No, this uh, they just this, make this, this uh, announcement and yes, once the money is yes. released, it disappears. Yes, this woman, uh, uh, woman uh, welfare for woman or whatever. That's would you that uh, woman affairs minister? Uh, would you? Oh, uh, would you I don't know, look. I don't. Yes, I don't like to hate people, but that lady, I, I dislike her like mad. I I don't like her for anything. Look at the way she looks. You can know, you can see that God knows how many people that have been shagging that lady in that uh, uh, cabinet. Look at her face. You know that this she one is, is just there to think as much as possible. Actually. Incompetent people. So, so All of them are yeah. incompetent. And then now they need to bridge the asshole rock. Look, people need to gather little by little and go to that asshole oh, rock everywhere. They need to building. bridge it. It is building. Um, oh, um, don't building. Rush. Mm -hmm. It's building. I I'm can tell you. That they need to bridge it. Mm -hmm. They are going to you see. They are what? going to bridge Asso Rock barrier that the police and their Asso Rock guard. You know those ones. Their job is to protect uh, Tifnum. Yes. But if the, when yes. the protests actually really really grip the entire country, Tifnum will expect the soldiers to shoot the protesters when they come to Asso Rock. That is the first uh, disappointment they're going to feel because the soldiers won't really shoot. You see? Possibly they were probably going to hand over their, I mean, so, you know, give up their guns. And people would say, I'm going to share the video of Asso Rock. If Tifnubu yes, no if if no make that announcement, that reversal in 48 hours, to be, I can, to I can, be I can, honest, I can, see, I can wage a, I can put a wager on that. Anyone? Yes, and to say, be honest. Yes, I will be, share the video of Asso Rock when it is invaded please, by please, the angry people yes, soon. Yes, to be, to be honest, it is not about attacking people physically, maybe, you know, all these politicians physically there. Let them, we just want to prove the point that like, we are occupying this space right now. You, no you can idea. run. Any, any we we will see in you how you are running. Run. Tell you something. Let them Hold run. Hold up. Yes. See, I love your advice, okay, but the truth is this. The day they breach Asso Rock, breach the three arms zone, judges will be beaten when they see them. Any politician found around at all is a fair game. I'm just saying it to you. We should stop deceiving ourselves. Yeah. Things have already changed from at that stage now. It has changed from, hey, we all need to be this or that now. It's actually telling to let people know that what you have started, you must finish. Or else, if these guys escape, you will hmm. never have this chance again. Hold up. Thank you. Eh? Thank you very much for listening. Um, please send, uh, send the link or send the link so that we, I can make my own uh, monthly this, you know, because... At least I know that I've no, said that not, out. You, Thank, yeah, you. Not, Thank not, you very much. Not, see, I'm not setting up any fundraiser for, for their protest. No, no, it's not fundraiser, I it's a normal thing. It's not for the for the protest, it's for the for for your efforts that you've oh, been through, you know. Well, anyway, okay. as well, right? Everyone, oh, I know say we all get busy. So this is uh, August, right? If now twenty dollars yeah. you want put aside on this platform, once they are more organized in the coming days, right? Yeah. If I see any of their fundraiser, I am going to promote them on this platform, okay? Yes. So we'll, yes. Them, um, yeah, we'll support my, them, we'll fund yes. them. Mayugu, yeah. Mayugu, before you go, I want you to get in touch with Aisha. There's one lady called Aisha. That's that's the stand-up lady. Please. Aisha, you're super, yeah? I want, yes. That's Everybody one of the Aisha. people that... Yes, Maybe yeah, I just don't forget. My, I should invite her to yes, this uh, platform. You to need to chance. invite her. Yes, you need to invite her, please. Try. Yeah, okay. Hold up. thank you. God thank bless you. you. Yeah. Good one. Okay. Bye -bye. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. So, I have another caller on the line, but I want to say a very good or uh, big thank you, right? So, to uh, everyone uh, this afternoon, it is going to be a very, very busy week, no doubt. So, as you are engaging with this, the ideal thing you can do for us is to help us uh, share this. Share this and let it go as far as it can. Here is another call on the line, though, right? Hello. Good afternoon, my good general. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you? I'm a, I'm a first-time caller. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, too. Thanks for asking. I'm known as Miss Yerokes on the platform. 
and um, I'm, I'm I'm one of the. Thought, uh, I was going to call you uh, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's what I thought you were going to say, but now that's what I'm going to call you. Right? How are you, ma'am? I'm very well. I'm very well, thank you. Um, I'm 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 just so pleased that I actually got through today because I've always tried many many times. But anyway, yeah. to go straight to the point. Oh, it's always first time, Dory. Eh? But thank you for not giving up. Yes, thank you. Um, thank you so much for all that you do for the community. Thank you so much for your hard work. A um, keep up the good work um, because it is actually very, very far reaching. The amount of people that have come, I mean, my husband apparently used to join your platform without me even realizing. <laughs> and then um, I started joining, I think it was l- last year, it was sometime last year during the elections that I stumbled on your platform and I've been following since then. Thank you so and much. And the amount of people that I talk to that they get their hmm. authentic information from your platform is unbelievable. Thank I you. just cannot believe it. And I kept thinking to myself, how come I hadn't met, I hadn't stumbled on this platform before now, but anyway, whenever you wake oh, up in the morning, how, did, how can you really keep this away from me all this while? And you'll be like, exactly, you'll be interested. Exactly. And you can imagine when my husband then says, oh, I know my good general, I joined his platform. <laughs> I'm like, what, what happened to involving me? So now I've, I've definitely so, so overtaken the element, him. You, you were actually possibly going to give him uh, some surprises, but the element of surprise was so lost when he told you that I knew him, right? Exactly, exactly. It's so good, it's so good to meet you, right? Thank you so much, ma'am. Mm? Me too, me too. I mean, just to touch on the platform, um, on the protest, I'm so, so grateful that we came this far. Hmm. You know, there'd, be, there'd been that apprehension as to whether or not we would actually have this, whether this protest, protest would happen or, you know, what form, what form it would take and whether or not people would take it as seriously as it should be. But I'm so pleased that we've got to this point and I know that it's, it's definitely a turning point. Things are going to change from now on. I mean, I don't really know how far it would go, but I know that definitely in the history of Nigeria, we have gotten to a turning point and there's no going back. Thank so that, so that's all I have point. to say. No, it's, and it's, thank, go on. Yeah, that's all I have to say for now. I think I'm I'm just still reeling in the fact that I actually got through today. <laughs> like, well, it seems uh, unbelievable still, right? But there's always that first time, okay? <laughs> Whatever you did yeah. that got you in this afternoon is just the only way to go about it. So keep trying that, okay? I'm very happy to I, I, have spoken I, to you, ma'am. I think I'm... I think I've learnt the trick now. Thank you. Yes, I would um, yeah. definitely you be very good to one, you again okay? I send you well to the, to the boss. Will Cheers, do. Man. Thank you. Take mm-hmm. care. Yeah. So it is true. There are so many of you. I said this uh, before. I said, you have every right to be skeptical. It's Nigeria. So the way you feel like it's not, oh, man, you can't count on them. Our people are just like that. They are in on it. They don't even care. I spoke to some of them. They don't even know what they want to do. You see all those things. I mean, all those uh, uh, things, right? You are right. Because you are speaking from experience. We've all been there. We've seen it. Even this one that is happening. If you are feeling like it's, I don't think it's going to work. Well, it's okay. But do not pretend that you are not seeing a completely different context than what prompted that your judgment that protests know they work. Uh, people know they, they people know go come out, you know they give them data and all those things that sort of fueled uh, your skepticism or so at the time, right? Now you are seeing things so, so different from what you based your judgment on. So it, the ideal thing is, yeah, you can still be skeptical. It's all right. But it doesn't make any sense for you to, with what you have seen so far and boldly open your mouth and say, it's a waste of time. That would be insulting. I will, be, I will be insulted on, the, on behalf of, uh, on behalf of uh, these guys because, I mean, we want them to stand up. They are standing up now. We can't tell them how to stand up anymore. Like, oh, you are not standing straight. You are supposed to stand like that. Oh, you are supposed to stand slowly. No, 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 no. They are standing. The best we can do is to, call, to what? To back them. Whether they go succeed or not, we'll back them. In fact, backing them is why they will succeed. Get that? Here. Hello. Hi, Uncle Michael. Oh, I do care. Okay. Okay. So you finally joined <laughs> us this afternoon as well. I know. It's so hard. It's almost like it's Christmas in December as we get through. 
What happened? Oh, you have already become a... I was in first class. Now I feel like I'm in economy. I have to wait. Oh, dear. Anyway, I'm <laughs> glad you are here because at least... Thank yeah. you. Good one. How yeah. are you today? I'm always happy to hear your voice on Kamaiko. Um, so, my first point is I am coming to the Yoruba session in Scotland in August. I will be coming. See, I've got... Uh, and I see, can't wait. Yeah, you get that now. <laughs> so see, we're going to have to like uh, see face-to-face and you have no idea what yes. you How important and how... I'm coming to like, chop. Uh, I'll let you finish. I'm coming so to I can chop. Go, yeah, I can go dance behind this and I'll be like, yeah, she's coming. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm coming. I'm trying to drag my girls, but you know... Everyone's safe, Nigerian. But here we are. The revolution we've been talking about, the enlightenment that uh, they said were just a waste of time, they seems to actually be playing out now with what we have seen so far. Nigerians are not stupid after all. They were just scared. No, I'm definitely coming. I'm definitely coming. Yes. Uh, my second point is in reference to the conversation where a lot of people are saying Nigeria is not going to get better. And people are looking at this protest as it's not yielding the results that they want. I want to teach us about a concept called change management. Hmm. So change management is like a concept if you heard of project management. Okay. So change management tells you that change occurs in increments. And it's very important for our people to understand this. I want to suggest a book which is called Leading Change by John P. Cotter. It takes it talks about how does change happen, hmm. right, yeah, in every community. And it's a fantastic, I think every Nigerian needs to read this book, Leading Change by John P. Cotter. Obviously, Africa is slightly different, but it talks about the psychological process of change change doesn't happen in 24 hours no no okay so if we look at what's going on now what nigeria is is the result of change over the past 40 years the change in education the change in health the change in accessibility to wealth and now we're on another journey where we're trying to change that to a new image so it's important that we understand change is happening. It is. But we have to be committed and allow the change to happen. It's not an overnight change. No. So this rally is stage one. Okay. We're now going to have stage two, which will be hopefully spreading it information about governance. Yes. That's the second stage, which I'm excited about. You know, I love education no. where we can start changing People, so where we can start teaching information about governance in Yoruba, like you do mm-hmm. in Ibo, in Awusa, in all the other cultures. So I wanted to highlight that and just to encourage us. And um, just one more point before I go, Mr. Mayagun, was um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say now. So I was talking about change. I don't know, I was all, I'll leave it there for today, I think. Oh, great. But I wanted to encourage you. Probably will join I me wanted to encourage us as well, all. right? So in the evening, yes. right, whatever you forgot now, yes. we'll kind of I'll back. have to continue. Yeah, exactly. And hopefully yeah. you'll get through because that's another... And sorry, yeah? one more thing. I just remembered now. What All I right, wanted to encourage it. is just like what you do, Uncle Michael, I'm not sure if people listen to all of your show, okay? But one of my favorite parts of your show is when you teach the Nigerians about the system. A lot of them don't know. So when you talk about the laws... And you talk about the money, how the government had three billion. They don't know that. A lot of them don't know. So I think it's great in this conversation around the protest that we can talk more about the numbers. Talk about the numbers. Ask the questions. Okay, what did the government? What did your governor do with the money that was allocated? Mm-hmm. How many teachers' salaries have been paid? You know, how many pensioners? And you can get that information from your government. And that is called governance compliance. That's right. That's right. Okay. I am Thank going you, to, Uncle I'm Michael. working on that. And that's why I actually threw it into the uh, conversation earlier by saying, yes. now that we have everybody out, right? We need more out. Yes. More and more and more out, right? But we must, yes. 
not let uh, the message be lost on them, okay? So we cannot yeah. finish that gathering, even if we have to print flyers, kind of breaking things down to make them understand how uh, the actions or inactions of those who are governing them at the state level, local level, and others, right? How their actions and inactions are impacting their lives negatively. So we, we put the comparison of what they are getting to what they could have done and to what they are doing. People need to know and they need to get mad. Get angry. It's normal now. Because there's more you can important. get out of this whole thing. If these guys are happy, yes. you're likely going to get something better. So that's why people can't stop now. No. Yeah.